So we can start with the collar, move that around and you can see how I can get these bones in about the right position. We can fine tune later. Uh, this time I'm going to go to my top camera and I can just bring these round and line everything up as it should do. Go back to my front camera. Don't need to worry about the other side because I'm going to go by symmetry. This time I need to select the hip. With the hip selected I can now work down the legs. Pick up my bone tool, select the middle of the hip, drag down the shin. I'll leave it there because I'm going to do the, the foot from the other view. Pick up my translation tool, move these Go to my side camera, make the shin bone uh, the active or the selected bone and continue working along. Drag for the foot, go back, pick up the translation tool, I can move it and so forth. Back to my camera view main camera and at each bone I can select I can select a bone and change its name to match what's in the group go through each one and make sure that your bone name matches your group name do that throughout and when you're finished, go back into the pose room. OK, I've jumped ahead slightly. Uh, I've now completed all my bones and I've named them all. And we can see everything there. And it's all ready. So to recap, we used the bone tool. I moved up from the hip, uh, clicking at each stage. And we can see from our colour coded uh, model uh, where the different groups are. Uh, we went up the torso to the head, uh, stopped, changed to the translate tool so that we uh, didn't accidentally add a bone somewhere. Went back, selected from the drop down menu, selected the chest, were then able to pick up the bone tool again and go by clicking on the middle of the chest and out. We started to do the right arm, uh, the collar, the shoulder, the forearm and the hand. At the conclusion of that we changed back to our translate tool again to make sure that we didn't add a bone where we didn't need it. Go back to the chest from the drop down menu, pick up the bone tool again, click the centre of the chest and this time work along the other arm. From centre of the chest click up, we've got the collar, the shoulder, the forearm and the hand. End that operation by clicking on the translate tool, go back, select the hip, because the next thing we need to do are the legs with the hip selected. Pick up the bone tool, click centre of the hip and now work down the legs on each side. At the conclusion of each limb go back, pick up the translate tool. I can't emphasise it uh, too much. By doing that you make sure that you don't accidentally add another bone. If you do you can delete them but it's tedious. So for the other leg, go back, select the hip, pick up the bone tool again, select the middle of the hip bone and you can work down the other leg. With all the bones in place, you can go through in the properties panel, making sure that the bone name, that is the internal bone name, 
matches the group name that you've designated in your object file. There's a standard set of poser names which I highly recommend you keep. Uh, for details you will need to either look at another poser figure or your poser manual, but they're pretty straightforward. Uh, so that's the internal name. The other important thing to remember is that in the joint editor each bone you've got to have the correct joint order and that means for the first joint order the first letter needs to be axial to the body part so for legs that generally is the y-axis first for the torso the y-axis head will be y but the arms will be x that's in general the primary thing is that the first order of rotation must go down the axial length of the body part. With everything in place we can now go back into the pose room and you'll find here we are we have a figure and we can pose it side to side and bend and it's all there. We will probably need joint parameters but I'll deal with that in another tutorial. At this stage what you do very early on probably the first thing you do is to go to the and with the figure selected click on the little plus icon on the bottom that says add to library. Immediately save it to the library. You've done all that work and you don't want to lose it so immediately save it. Once it's saved I'm going to delete it from the scene and now reload it from the library likely because the one I'm going to load in this example is the finished model that in our earlier example your, your materials the color coding has done its job I just left it in here to make it easier for this tutorial for visualization and you can apply your and there's a the little ad uh, if we find a pose Let's see. Let's give it and run that through. Give me the old good luck sign. And that's it. To create visible poser figure model or uh, designating the groups with colour coding, using UV mapper to designate the groups, bring it into poser. Go into the setup room, add your bones, name your bones, make sure the bone rotation is correct, back into the pose room and save. It's this tutorial.